I'm just supposed to start it. I'm sorry. Hi, guys. What's up? My cousins are here. Um, today is Wednesday. It's actually Ash Wednesday. So, so you guys are away. <laughs> They're having raising canes. Um, they got the box combo, which is like a four piece chicken nuggets, fingers, chicken fingers, um, and fries. fries, coleslaw, and then the Texas bread. That bread is good. Um, I went to Mod, it's actually like Mod Pizza. You can see the name right there. And I got myself a salad. Um, it's a very simple salad, it's just lettuce, spinach. Mozzarella cheese, corn, olives, and mushroom with Caesar dressing. It's actually a pretty big salad, too, guys. And a very expensive salad. Oh, it's like the ones with Kardashian feet. I'm pretty sure that's taking more than what I paid, but... You guys know how much this salad was? This is why... This is... Hold on. This is why people don't eat healthy, because... Healthy food is a lot more expensive. Like, basically, they got those two meals, and my shit was only $2 less. So, like, 13 bucks. Close. Close. More? But yeah, it was... 14 Yep. Damn, low. $14? 14 Why Well, I didn't know that's how much it cost. You sure bad. They probably hit a gold coin in there. Look for it. <laughs> I didn't know this salad was $14, but that's my point. Like, you know, I could have gotten a plate of chicken fingers and fries with some bread and coleslaw for half the price or less than that, than this salad. Y'all get that's me? That's why McDonald's is so cheap, though. Y'all get me? Because, you know, to franchise a McDonald's, it actually, it's actually between 1.2 and 3.7 million to franchise one. One. Just a layer cheaper. Let's see that mushroom. Pretty sure Chick fil A doesn't really as much as McDonald's does, though. Well, Just because you don't eat McDonald's and I do eat Chick fil A, don't mean nothing. You're one person. Is... Oh, You're one person. So I don't you? mind them, guys. They're having a side conversation. <clears throat> so last night, what did we argue about, Lou? Um. Basically, our journey that we're going through right now. And life or fitness or what? Health. Food. Food. And I guess I guess exercise too. So do you want the coastal? I don't like it. It was basically everything. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit of everything. It's basically it? like... Her point of views, my point of views. Her opinions, my opinions. It was a very deep, long conversation that we had. We can get into it briefly. I can summarize it in two minutes if you need me to. That ain't no problem. What was it? Basically, am I allowed to speak about it? Yeah. Okay. So as you know, my cousin Liliana Wave, she's been on a diet for about close to 60 days now, approximately. I told her, which actually I think I told Jessica, I think like two weeks ago actually. Shit, I was talking shit. Okay. Um, Y'all hear that, right? She's talking shit about me. <laughs> I basically. And Jessica the, didn't tell me nothing about it. From what? But she's talking shit about me. I wasn't talking shit. I was telling her that I was concerned. Because she. Yes, she's doing a fantastic job at losing weight. She has the willpower. She's losing the weight, so that's all positive. And the thing is that she's eating one once a day, twice a day, up to three times a third meal is a snack. And lately snack? she hasn't been a whole snack. So lately she hasn't been losing the weight as much as she would have hoped to see, I'm assuming. Am I right? And I'm telling her that she needs to make some adjustments. She needs to make some changes. Me, I'm uh, familiar with the keto diet. My sister, your straw is covering my face. <laughs> Is that better? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. 
Anyways, um, I'm familiar with the keto diet just because I was on it for a very brief or short period of time. And I lost 33 pounds and I think it was like three or four months. Okay. Now, the keto diet, for those of you who don't know, is basically low carbs, high fat, low to medium protein. Okay. So, being that my high protein? No. High protein? It's not high protein. So then what do you mean? It's high fat. High fat, low to medium protein, low carb. I would think medium. No, it's not. It's not. She's trying to gain weight. So everything in her life is about protein and carbs. Anyways. So, basically, what the point is that I feel that she is trying to find a quick way to get the results that she wants without actually doing the research, looking into different things that you can look into, seeing what's working, seeing what's not. Because in my opinion, yes, she's eating very healthy, uh, a lot of greens and all this. She'll tell you she's tired of it, right? But she's eating, I, I, in my opinion, she's eating a lot of sugars, right? And even though they're, you can consider them healthy sugars, they're coming from, you know, sweets, her yogurt, her granolas, fruits have a lot of sugars. So I'm like, okay, like change that up. But, you know, we're very hard headed people. I think that runs in our family, would you say? So that was what our discussion was about last night. So I was like, okay, I made her sit down next to me, write down her weight, her goal weight, her BMI, and we looked into a few things on the laptop um, to see, you know, what we could do or maybe change a few things or maybe start up something new. So we downloaded the MyFitnessPal. And this is not sponsored, by the way. Not sponsored. Um, so we downloaded... That's not funny either. <laughs> no, it's, it's... We're not at that yeah. level yet. I know, but I said that was not funny either. Okay. So, uh, we downloaded the MyFitnessPal app to track her food, and I think she's a little obsessed with it now, right? I'm not obsessed, but... She's into it. Yeah. So, it's, it's going in the right direction. Keep track of what you're eating. So, we ran into a little... But... Word. You guys are seeing like the protein, carbs, fat, all that? Well, I don't know if she is. I know, yeah. So we ran into what is called caloric deficit or calorie deficit. Sister, tell me what that is. Oh, man. I don't want to. Sister? I don't want to. Is that rude? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's basically eating less calories and then what your body needs basically to maintain the current weight that you're at eating less calories than that if you're eating less calories than what you need to maintain your weight then obviously you're gonna lose weight and the same opposite if you want to gain weight then you need to eat more than what your body needs to maintain <coughs> thank you for letting us know So where are you at, sister? What are you trying to do? Yeah. Obviously, we're trying to lose weight. What are you doing? I'm trying to gain. What does that consist of? Well, I've been slacking really bad. But it was just me eating a lot of protein, a lot of carbs. Remember we told you guys about her fat eye? That's what it is, right? Oh. Uh -huh. Carbs and protein? Carbs, protein, mm-hmm, and gym. He said this one's for you, carbs, protein, fatty. I'm coming too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? All my toppings are like at the bottom, guys. Mm. I basically ate all the lettuce and the toppings. the best part. No, you had to toss it. No? Mm -hmm. I asked them, I asked them. I did. Them, like, I was like, no, why don't you ask them to toss it? Oh, I didn't tell them to toss it with the dressing because I didn't want it to get soggy. Mm. But they did toss it. There's a long line at Kings. They usually yeah, but it was, 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 it
one of the other things that came up while we were having our discussion is that my body's going through a lot of changes. And one of the things that I've noticed that affects me is like my cheat day, which is Sundays. I basically like pig out, guys. Like I literally do. So then it literally it literally takes my body two days to go through that because on Sunday I pig out. Like this Sunday we had cupcakes from Sprinkles. We had famous Dave's. Um there's a taco stand place called um Yaki's Tacos. Um I eat all of that on Sunday. And there was actually a lot of meat for me because I'm not really eating meat like that. Um, so my body yesterday, like, my stomach was hurting, so much pain. I literally had to keep going into the restroom. And it's already been, like, the second, third time that this happens. And I notice it's, and I feel it's because I binge so much on Sunday. Because I'm trying to basically eat everything that I don't eat throughout the week. But I hate the feeling of it. Uh, for Monday and Tuesday, I hate how I feel afterwards. So, I'm changing my cheat day to Wednesdays, which is today. Um, but because I'm still feeling my body, like, is still going through it. Um, that's why I just got the salad. But I'm, on, I'm not going to have, like, the actual cheat day. I'm just going to have a cheat meal, too. Let me get in the evening, though. What? In the evening. Yeah. So when the challenges are over, is your cheat meal still going to be a Wednesday? What? When the challenges are over, is your cheat meal still going to be a Wednesday? Yeah. Unless I have to change it again. Maybe to whenever the show comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... And it's hard. What? It's hard work. The diet? But today we did good, yeah. We went to the park earlier. That was <laughs> something else. We took a little nephew, two-year-old nephew. It was fun, though. It was hot. You were on the bike, you could ride away at any moment. <laughs> but I didn't. I went back to help you. Anyways, and then we also went to the gym. And we actually did a lot more better than we've have this whole time on cardio so, so if you want to do better at the gym you gotta take like two weeks off i didn't take two weeks off so that's not real maybe that's what not you true. needed was rest like rest from the gym and it's okay to, to take time to rest Take your days sleep. off. Good too. Sleeping, yeah. Because your body been needs to recover. Sleeping has been difficult these past few days. I think it's something in the house, though. Oh. No. You said you were restless last night. But it's still through the because the changes in my body. When you mean something in the house. But that's because she takes long naps during the day. It's true. Can you edit that out? No. We keep everything because we're real people. We have real life discussions. Y'all hear that? Is everybody being real? Yeah. I'm almost done. Me too. I'm so full. Thank you to my supporters. Somebody told me that I have an amazing sound when I eat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm a loud eater. So, thank you. Very loud eater, guys. Ooh. I could probably do ASMR without the mic. <laughs> Am I a loud eater? You heard yourself. When I watched the, the video, video, yeah. You heard yourself in the video. Yeah. 
You guys, it's not okay. Jessica eats like that too, it's disgusting. No, I don't. Not as loud. It's not like I'm doing it on purpose, that's just how I, know, I eat. But it's not disgusting, it's just very in your ear. Am I in your ear? No, I don't even hear you. Probably, I mean, if it was like super quiet, I'd probably eat more, but because I'm eating too, I don't hear it. I hear myself eating. Well, I hear myself eating too. I don't. I just hear a challenge going on in the bathroom. Do you I'm think if you can hear yourself, other people can hear you too? Well, people can hear me eating, yeah. Because I always eat yogurt and granola this. at work. And I feel like... This is that cane sauce. Can I hear myself? I like it. It's good. I feel like other people can hear me too. Yeah, I like it. Well, guys, today's video is short. We just really wanted to talk... Well, we didn't really even get into debt again. Yeah. Debt? We didn't get too much into debt about the whole discussion and topic last night. <clears throat> we ended on good terms, though. Yeah. We didn't. I mean, we obviously... You know, I've noticed that usually we've been doing better about that. Because usually because we're very like, oh my God. Hard-headed. Yeah. We, we don't want to give in. Yeah. We don't like to give in. <laughs> Yeah. But last night we definitely like made our our. I think the reason why it was better is because we made our our views, our points of views, clear to each other, and obviously we um we made our views clear with each other, and we respect each other enough to respect those views as well. You know what I learned also helps shutting like shutting up and listening. That's not something that comes easy to me <laughs> oh my at all. God, or patience. Or patience. You think so? Yeah. I feel like I can be patient with a lot of things, but... No. I guess not, whatever. But, yeah, no, patient. I talk a lot, so I need to remember that I need to shut up from time to time and listen. So that I think that helps. So if you ever guy if you guys ever get in a discussion with her, do not be afraid to tell her, Can you please stop? Can you be quiet? It's yeah. my turn. It doesn't offend me in any way. So we'll leave it and at I'll that. I'll probably guys. still talk over it. <laughs> yeah, like right there. So we'll leave it at that guys. Thank you guys for joining us. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow us, like us, share. Give us ideas, share. We'll see. I think you for guys. Video we could do the tell them rather. Tell them. Would you rather you, do this or that? Tell them to tell you what they want to see next. So. Can you guys please tell us what you guys want to see next? Or maybe any what type of food any... they want you to try, maybe? Ooh. Yeah. And the well, only low key, okay the low key, Ooh, the only reason one. why I think she's saying that is because she's probably going to comment saying what type of food she's going to want to eat next. Oh, week. I hadn't even thought about that, no, but that's a good idea. Here. What kind of food would you. No, do the one do. where you go to like Not the worst do? rated. I don't Ooh. think there's anything that I wouldn't do other than like I don't like onions, so I mean I'll eat it because I'm not. If somebody gives me the onion or it's in my food that they cooked, um, obviously I'm gonna eat it. But if it was my choice, I wouldn't eat it. Do the one where you go to the worst rated um, restaurant in your city. Thing. That wouldn't be bad. I'll look it up. Thank you, Jessica, for the suggestion. And I will not be trying that food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys, we should have you comment to see my sister, Sister Swift, do the two times spicy noodles. The oh, reason why yeah. I say it is because she's such a baby when it comes to spicy food. Jessica. Leon. Jessica. You're more dramatic. She's very dramatic, yeah. But I would want to see Jessica try the two times spicy fire noodles. So please comment, guys. Like, what do I get in tell us. Turn? You get an experience. You get to try something different that you haven't tried before. It's not chicken or fries. Yeah, exactly. Come on, guys. Give us those views, those comments that you guys want to see her try it. So we can. I already got the noodles ready. 
I heard you got them. <laughs> we just need you guys to support us. Support us and it will happen. Okay, guys. Thank you. We'll see you later. No, Bye. you gotta get how many likes and I'll do it. Peace. <laughs> five likes. Bye. Ten yeah, likes. five likes. <laughs> <laughs>